Hi, this is Brooke Marshall. I am a senior statistician. I work at Merck in the manufacturing division and specifically in the Center for Mathematical Sciences. Um, we're statisticians who support our manufacturing division and I do a lot of work in stability testing and design. And I'm very glad to be able to present um, information on bracketing and matrixing designs for you today. So just by way of background, um, the International Conference on Harmonization, or ICH, provides guidances on stability testing, uh, study design, and analysis. And they do this through guidelines Q1A through Q1F. Um, today we're going to specifically discuss the guideline Q1D, which is for bracketing and matrixing designs. Basically, these designs are used to reduce the amount of sample testing that's needed to evaluate the stability of a new drug substance or product. So this can be very helpful um, because you actually get to reduce the amount of testing, which uh, alleviates some burden on the lab and can also save uh, the company money. So just as an outline for our discussion today, um, we will be discussing the ICH Q1D in detail. So first we'll talk about some general definitions and concepts that are outlined in the guideline. And then we'll discuss uh, bracketing and matrixing designs specifically. We'll talk about uh, how these are designed, some risks and benefits of each. And then I'll uh, discuss a case study where we actually looked at bracketing and matrixing designs here at Merck and how we actually compared the performance of these designs in terms of how well they predicted uh, into the future, um, how well they, they predicted um, for expiry. Uh, 